Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 25 of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. This is going to be the episode where we transition from season 1 into season 2. And of course, there was a full season roundup yesterday if you want to uh, go and check that out if you missed it. And of course, there was a My Player last night and there will be a, a World Cup sticker book album uh, episode tonight as well. So it's kind of all going off right now on the channel. But as you can see on your screen, the board are very, very pleased with our performance in Serie A this year. Of course, we wanted to qualify for the Champions League and that's exactly what what we did finishing second in the league overall of course top three qualify for Champions League and then fourth and fifth are entered into the Europa League and then of course they're very pleased with our progression in the domestic cup as well we of course reached the final of the Coppa Nazionale unfortunately losing 2-0 to Juventus on the day but reaching the final was very very pleasing indeed now if you remember in yesterday's video we had 18 million pounds worth of prize fund cash just sat there in our transfer budget and I tried to do the trick of moving it all across into the wage budget to try and bring it across to the second season now that didn't work and they've actually only given me a transfer budget of 17 and a half million pounds so what I initially intended to uh, to do was go out buy the cheapest the, you know the earliest possible financial takeover thing which I thought was about 20 million which would kind of give us the uh, the money that we lost transferring between seasons in fact unfortunately what it actually gave me was close to 60 million now this was initially uh, a bit of a problem but I tweeted out on Twitter obviously and uh, asked for some uh, some feedback and uh, Basically, the gist of what I'm actually going to do, uh, we're basically going to try and quote-unquote waste the money that we got given extra that we're not going to use or don't want to use for, you know, kind of equality and fairness. Uh, considering, you know, we really should have a transfer budget of around about 35 to 40 if you include the 17 and a half budget for this year and the £18 million we wanted to bring across from the first season. So I went out and spent as much money as possible on youth scouts, on normal scouts, you know, basically wasting it as much as as possible so that I could uh, I could get down to a, a more realistic transfer budget without actually overly affecting how the series is going to run so that's exactly what I did and as you can see the board want us to win the cup and win the league this season so that extra transfer budget is definitely going to come in handy now there's a lot of transfer action going on in the early stages of, uh, of this season I've only recorded this video up to now of course over the weekend there won't be any AC Milan career but it's more my player on a Saturday and Sunday so the next video of this will come on Monday so it gives me time to get some feedback in the comment section from you guys as to which players you think I should go and look at. Now, Erby Emanuelsson has asked to leave the club, so he will be going regardless of uh, the fact that Udinese actually turned down that counter offer of £3 million. But uh, we need a goalkeeper because Christian Nebiati has retired, so Guita is currently our sole goalkeeper. We will be looking at bringing one in in this particular episode. Balotelli. <laughs> Is, uh, is staying regardless of all these ginormous offers coming in from Real Madrid, Bayern Munich and PSG etc. Balotelli is going nowhere. We do have Alexander Lacazette. I do want to bring in Alex Pato as well if I possibly can to try and bring, in, uh, bring him back to the club. Although there is a slight issue with that which we'll find out a little bit later on. But as you can see he's spending more money on scouts etc. And it actually worked out for the best. We will have after a little bit of uh, budget adjustment. We will, we will have around about £35 million transfer budget to spend in uh, in the transfer window. Which is exa almost exactly what we would have if we transferred the £18 million from last season. And added it to the £17.5 million the board gave us this season. So I think it's worked out actually pretty perfectly. So I'm quite pleased with that. So We've got some money to spend to bring some players in for this second season. As you can see, I've transfer listed a lot of the players that I won't be using. These are all players that were out on loan last season that were, you know, out on loan prior to me starting the career mode. So I haven't even used them and I don't want to use them. I want them out of the club so we can free up squad space and wage budget, etc. To, uh, to bring in some new fresh talent. Now, the issue with Alexander Pato, of course, he's contracted to Corinthians but he's been on loan at Sao Paulo and was so for the entirety of the first season when I uh, when I tried to sign him the uh, the first time and it, it seems he's still on loan at Sao Paulo into the beginning of this second season and I checked on uh, on Wikipedia as trustworthy as that may or may not be and it appears that his loan deal with Corinthians or with Sao Paulo from Corinthians actually runs until December 2015 so we may still be able to bring Alex Pato in this season we might just have to wait until the January transfer window but that shouldn't be a problem we've got plenty of players to uh, to keep us going in the striker of course we're playing a 4-2-3-1 so we only really need one striker up top at any given time we've got Balotelli we've got Pato we also have Giovanni Dos Santos who can fill in that role at 
striker if need be. So we're okay when it comes to strikers right now. But I do want a winger. We desperately need a centre-back as well. So we've got four to, uh, to cover for any injuries and tiredness, etc. Because fixture congestion really can become a bit of a problem. And the goalkeeper I'm looking at bringing in to, uh, to add to Guita's uh, current status as our first-team goalkeeper. Go, 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 uh, blah, as our first team goalkeeper was uh, actually Asmir Begovic, a very, very talented goalkeeper that doesn't really get the the recognition he actually deserves in real life, I don't think. So uh, Begovic is going to be the keeper I'm trying to bring in. Of course, you can see me going in for Pedro. Now, uh, Niang, I'm actually going to try and use as a kind of counterweight as well as the £14 million we've offered because Pedro is a fantastic player. And Stenad Lulic is... Uh, position at the club is a little bit under threat. He may be going out, so uh, Pedro would be a great replacement for him. Benya is a player that I really am keen on bringing into the club. Thinking of letting Montalivo go. Sully Montari is definitely going to be on his way out as well, if I can possibly do that. Uh, we've got a couple of players that, uh, like Brian Cristante, etc., and Saponara, that were at the club last year but didn't get played, and I want to move them out as well. So we're going to need some extra players for rotation in the centre of midfield. Of course, we lost Adel Tarat as he was only on loan. So uh, there is, there are definitely some gaps to fill in the squad right now, but we're rejecting offers for players that are coming in left, right and centre. Guita actually got a lot of offers coming for him from various different clubs, and uh, as did Giovanni Dos Santos, as you can see, I'm rejecting another offer for him here from Wolfsburg. £11.5 million pounds they, uh, they offered me for him, but... Uh, He's been very, very good for us so far, so I want to keep him on board. And Mehdi Benasha is definitely a centre-back that would be 100% involved in first-team football were we able to strike a deal with Roma. Although him being at a rival club, we may have to pay a little bit more for him. But let me know in the comment section down below. As you can see, I'm trying to uh, maintain the uh, Asmir Begovic deal. So it looks like a goalkeeper is assured. Looks like Pedro might be assured as well if we can get him to sign this contract. But I am still looking for a goalkeeper. I am still looking for a centre-mid. And potentially, depending on how much money we have left a striker maybe just on a loan deal if possible or a striker that we could bring in to uh, to you know do the business in the opening six months and then sell on in January and bring Alex Pato in so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that but a striker isn't necessarily the uh, the main aim I definitely need a centre back that is the main focus right now going to get the goalkeeper with Begovic as you can see he's actually turned down the initial contract because he wanted to know what his uh, squad role was so I had to give him a crucial first team player for him to actually sign the contract which is exactly what he's going to do uh, Matry's going Going out as well, two and a half million pounds it isn't quite his uh, his value, but I'm not going to fuss with uh, with Espanol. It's uh, a decent offer. He's going to go out. It will free up the wages, free up a little bit of transfer budget, and we will use that money to bring in some extra players. Extra players that may include Phil Jones, obviously a very very good centre back, shows a lot of potential as well, and can uh, you know be used at a central defensive mid role or a right back role. Is a is a utility player and a very very good utility player at that. And Pedro also wants to be a crucial first team player, which he probably will be. I'll probably start him out on the right and. Uh, Elshar on the left with Honda in the middle behind my Mario Balotelli. I may be looking for a cam. I can't decide whether I want an extra cam or not. It depends what happens with Honda and or Montalivo. But as you can see, Asmir Begovic has accepted the contract offer. He is definitely coming into the club. We've replaced Christian Abiati, who retired at the end of the season. And we have a second goalkeeper. But the next episode is going to include the first and second friendlies, as you can see, against Wolfsburg and St Etienne. Then after that, we'll have the, the episode with Man City and Juventus. Of course, in the January transfer window, or in any transfer window, rather, summer or January, I only show two games per episode because of all the extra transfer actions going on but that's going to bring this episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching thank you again for 8,000 subscribers we hit that yesterday you guys are absolutely wonderful i can't thank you enough for that if you missed yesterday's episode there's an annotation on screen feel free to hit that to check that out or the channel page of course there's a link on the screen to subscribe and in the description and your subscribe button there's also a link in the description to my twitter as well at chesnoy gaming and as i mentioned earlier on i do look for feedback real-time feedback for this series and all of my series is to be fair on twitter because, of course, I do tend to bulk record stuff with career mode. So uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter as well to have an impact on what goes on in these series firsthand. But that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have the World Cup sticker book episode later on tonight. And, uh, of course, my player was last night as well. If you missed it, feel free to check the channel page. But that's all for today. I'm rambling on again. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.